stuns. Give me the stuns. Give me the stuns. Give me the stuns. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. 760. 760. Let's go. That's right, guys. 760 million. Million studs in just about four minutes in this game. From our experience with the game so far, this is the fastest way to get studs in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. We've tried a ton of methods so far, we've tried the trench run method, we've tried a few others as well, and this really is the most painless, the quickest, the simplest, and the biggest payout way to do this. There are so many things to buy in this game. The Death Star is about 5 million studs. The Galaxy Rave is about 500 million studs, so you're gonna need a system, and like I said, the Lunar Squadron system is really the way to go. 760 million in just about four minutes. I mean, what can we buy with that? About 152 Death Stars. Oh, it's beautiful. We're gonna show you exactly how to do this method, but first, a brief message from Mark. We are giving away a free copy of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga on Xbox, thanks to our good friends at WB Games who provided us an Xbox code. And it is super simple. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed to the channel because we want to give the code to one of our loyal subscribers and leave a comment down below telling us what you are most excited for in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. You do those three things and you are entered to win this free copy on Xbox of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Now, without further ado, we should give the people what they are here for and show them how to make a shit ton of money in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the best way to put it here. And it really does start with the sequel trilogy. If you wanted to make the most amount of money right away, you're gonna go straight to the sequel trilogy right away in this game. Why is that, Nick? Because the main key to this entire method is that first main level of episode nine, which means you need to complete episode seven and eight, but you're all planning on doing that anyway, right? Because you're gonna complete the story. You might as well start in the sequel trilogy or jump to the sequel trilogy if you wanna earn a bunch of money because that first main level of episode nine called a skip and a jump is the key to this whole method. So what we're gonna do right now is we are going to walk you through exactly how to squeeze the most amount of studs out of this level because if you play it right, the output can be a lot better than your first playthrough. And you're going to pick up on these things. There's a little bit of a skill that you will have to pick up as you are playing through it. But I promise you, this method does involve playing this level over a few times. The runtime of this level is going to be about three minutes and 20 seconds. If you're going straight through, you can extend it just a bit to four minutes and squeeze more studs out of it. But about three to four minutes a playthrough, we're gonna show you exactly how to do it the right way, aren't we? Yep, we sure are, let's jump into it. Now, I'm gonna be doing this in free play because when you're grinding this level, you wanna do it in free play, it lets you skip the cutscenes of the level. The way that I'm going to be skipping on PS5 is by holding that triangle button right away and it sends us straight into the level. Now guys, the important thing when it comes to this level is if you can see here, Andreas is destroying a ton of pipes. And I'm blowing up, apparently. So he's going to be focusing on destroying as many pipes as possible. Now you can see, obviously, you need to blow up 10 TIE Fighters. You don't want to do that right away. You kind of want to leisurely go about that. You kind of want to extend this out a little bit. But as you notice, every time he blows up one of those big pipes, he's getting a ton of studs, including those real nice blue studs. Those blue studs are really nice here when it comes to this method. Now, as you can see at the top left, we are doing this without the multiplier first. Now, obviously the multipliers are going to play into this because that 760 million number does come from the max multiplier, that being 3,840. But honestly, it really isn't that hard to get to it just because it all scales appropriately. The amount of attempts you're gonna have to run through this is about eight to 10 times per multiplier. And it's about, you know, three, four minutes long. So you're gonna spend about 30 to 45 minutes running through this each time racking up those studs to then progress to the next multiplier. But it's worth it because once you hit that max multiplier and you run through this level one time, you're gonna walk away with about 500 to 760 million studs. We were doing this earlier, we'll show you this at the end. 
We got 760 million studs in one playthrough of this level in about three and a half minutes. And that, in those three minutes, we can afford literally everything in this game. It's crazy. And it only took us about an afternoon of setting up this method because all you have to do, play through episode seven, play through episode eight, get this main level into free mode. And then you gotta obviously go collect some data chips around the galaxy to unlock those extras. Those are honestly super simple. I would go to like Yavin or Cantonica or even the one on Yavin is super simple and Hoth and all of that. So go to, you know, places where you will be able to find them pretty easily. They will be on the mini map. That is probably the hardest thing when it comes to this method is collecting those data chips, but you're gonna need them anyway to get these extras. So as you can see here, Andreas is now at the final portion of this level. He's destroyed all of the TIE Fighters, but he skipped that crane. Why did you skip the crane? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually skipping that so that I can have the opportunity to shoot a few more ties here because each of those ties is going to give me a few more studs here. You can see I'm just squeezing out that bit more studs. I'm over 100,000 here, which at the beginning of the game, uh, coming by 100,000 studs in just about five minutes here is kind of hard. Like you're not gonna be doing that very often. And every stud that I can squeeze out of this level is going to be helpful for me now you want to be careful when you're shooting around these exclamation points because if you do hit them uh you're gonna end the level here so i'm focusing on using my proton torpedoes here to take out any ties that do come out in front of me and if you are not seeing a lot of ties you're going to want to trigger the level and eventually the level is going to pull you through anyway so it gets sick of you yeah fast. it really does it, it feels like you're taking advantage of it and it kind of wants you to move along now here it's going to give you one more opportunity to fire off at a few more of these center pillars which will get you just that bit more studs and from here on out it's all about hitting four quick time events you're going to hit x four times and funny enough every time you press x you will be making studs in this game so when you get up the multipliers you'll be making like five million, even more million for just pressing X. How crazy is that? Yeah, I wish I could make five million dollars from just pressing X, that would be really That nice. means like when you get up the multipliers, guys, you'll just be like, Death Star, Death Star, Death Star. That's five million per Death Star. Oh, I just got one. Now here, uh, obviously it's not five million every time, but once you get up the multipliers, it will be at that crazy rate to a point where studs just don't matter anymore. And that's the point of this method, is to just get studs out of the way so that you can go after every single character that you want to unlock and there's no longer that barrier anymore. Also as a cool bonus, you'll get True Jedi and probably all of the mini kits for doing this level. So if you're really into that Y-Wing, I believe it is, get a free micro Y-Wing for doing this level. Yeah. Honestly, there, this, this level kind of hands you a lot of stuff. It really does, and here's the end of it. I can go ahead and skip this cutscene right here, and it's going to load us in, and we're gonna see how much we finally hauled, again, with all of the multipliers turned off. And then I would like to run through, just because we wrote it down, what our stud counts were for each run through we did with each of the multipliers intact. So it looks like for this run through, We'll see how much we got. I think I made just about 150, maybe 160K. Which is honestly, like that's not that bad. That's really good. That is really good to start with. And that first multiplier only costs 1 million studs. So as you can see here, you're already, you know, you only need to do this seven, eight more times and you will be able to afford that first multiplier. So even though the multipliers get more expensive, you will earn more, it scales appropriately. Yeah. So honestly, you're like we said, you're only gonna have to do this eight to 10 times per multiplier to unlock it. So it's a little grindy at first. You're gonna need to set aside an afternoon to go through episode seven, eight, get this level, and then set up the multipliers. But man, once you have these multipliers set up, you're gonna be making bank in this game. So just for an example, when we have the times two set up, we made 409,000. When we had the times eight set up, 1.51 million. Here's where it starts getting crazy. Times 48. 8.7 million studs in one run through times 384 59.9 million and when we had the 3840 multiplier set up 760 million studs in a three and a half minute playthrough we literally can't afford 
anything in this game. Andreas, what is our total stud count right now? So Please in, show this. since we discovered this method just two days ago, and we've only been playing like, you know, a few hours a day, pretty modestly, our stud total is over 3 billion right now. So getting those multipliers, getting through this level in the earlier stages, it's going to feel like a little bit of a slog because you're making, uh, I mean, 166,000 is nothing to sneeze at, but you're going to start off making, you know, that 150 to 200,000. You can maybe push it to 225,000 at the beginning. If you get really good, that was kind of an average run through that I gave you guys right now. But once you get really industrious with it, you will start hitting those strides and you'll start making up in the millions every time you play through this level to the point where it's gonna look like this. You're gonna see this right now. This is when it is in full stride. You will be hitting that million mark like right away. You're gonna shoot one of those pillars and you're already a multi, multi millionaire in this game. You'll be buying Death Stars left and right in this game. And that's the whole point of this method. So with that said, we hope that you guys all enjoy this unlimited stud method in lego star wars the skywalker saga it really is the most painless way the fastest way and the highest output way of getting studs in this game so we do hope that you enjoy this it took us a lot of effort to find this method so if it is helpful to you all we would really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the lunar squadron there's plenty of other incentives to subscribe as well including entering for a chance to win a copy of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga on the Xbox. So make sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel for a chance to win that copy. Thank you all so much for watching this tutorial video. Again, thank you so much to WB for providing us a copy of the game. That's gonna do it for this one. And as always, we will see you all next time.